Hi friends, in this video we are going to learn the bitwise AND operator. So the bitwise AND operator takes equal length binary sequence and perform bitwise AND operation. So if you have 0 and 0 then this operator will return a 0. And if you have 0 and 1 then also the result is 0 and if you have 1 and 0 then also the result is 0 and finally if you have both the values equal to 1 then the result is 1. So simply saying if you have any of the bit equal to 0 then the result is 0 and if you have both the value equal to 1 then only the result is 1. So see an example take 5 and 9 and let us perform bitwise AND operation on 5 and 9. But these are decimal numbers and we need to convert it into binary numbers. And we know the binary equivalent of decimal 5 which is equal to 101 and for 9 it is equal to 1001. And we need equal length binary sequence so add a 0 to the left of 101 and we got 0101. Now we can perform bitwise AND. So take the first pair of bits which are 1 and 1 and we have the truth table here. See. For 1, 1 we get 1 and the next pair is 0 and 0 so we get 0 and next is 1 and 0 and we get 0 and finally we have 0 and 1 and we get 0 and the result of bitwise AND operation between 5 and 9 is 0, 0, 0, 1. Now see the code to implement this. In the main function we are declaring two integers a and b which are equal to 5 and 9. Then we are calculating output equal to a bitwise and b. So bitwise and operation will be performed and the result will be stored in output. Now we are printing the value of output which will be equal to 1. So that's it. Now let us discuss about the application of bitwise and. So suppose we are going to design a robot car which uses sensor to sense the environment and update its direction accordingly. And we have four directions backward, forward, left and right. And each bit when set to 1 can indicate to go to a particular direction. That is if first bit is set the car should go to right direction and if second bit is set go to left direction and so on. But how to check if a bit is set? We can use bitwise AND operator for that. Using bitwise AND operator we can check if a particular bit is enabled or disabled. And we need to create a binary AND mask here and it should have only one one in the position where we want to check the bit status and all the remaining bits must be zero. And see here we need to check if second bit is enabled. So we can have mask equal to 0010 and perform bitwise AND operation and if we are getting one there it means that bit was set and if you are getting zero it means it was not set. Now see another example we want to check if fourth bit is set and for that we need mask equal to 1 0 0 0 and when we perform bitwise AND we get 0 there so we can infer that fourth bit was not set and this is how we can apply bitwise AND here. So that's all and thank you for watching this video.